Welcome to The War from Boise, Idaho. This is your host, Adam Graham. If you have a comment, send it to me, box13 at greatdetectives.net. Today we're going to take a listen to an episode of the Hollywood Barn Dance. Unlike uh, the Grand Ole Opry or the National Barn Dance, it did not have uh, near as long a run. It ran over radio from 1943 to 48. And there was even a brief uh, television run in 1947. But still featured some top uh, cowboy singing talent. And I think if you're a fan of that music, you will enjoy it. So here's the Hollywood Barn Dance from April 28, 1945. From out of the West comes America's greatest half hour of Western fun and music, the Hollywood Barn Dance. Yes, friends and neighbors, this is the place to spend your next half hour, for there's big doings taking places with the Barn Dance Boys and Girls tonight. And now here comes the man to get the proceedings underway, your Bushwood poet from down Texas Way, Cottonseed Clark. <laughs> Much obliged, Jay Stewart. Much obliged, Jay, and it's mighty nice to see that you folks went to the trouble of keeping company with our barn dancers again this payday. As Jay told you, there's some mighty big doings here in the barn tonight, and beginning right now, for in rides America's greatest Western singing stars, Foy Willing and the Riders of the Purple Sage, and the company of Western Pictures' newest singing cowboy star, Jimmy Wakely. They're going to sing one of the feature songs of Jimmy's new picture in which Foy Willing and his boys are featured. The picture is Saddle Serenade, and the song is Happy Day. And here it is, just as you'll see and hear them do it on the screen. Men, we're listening. Let's go. Happy day, happy day, wear a smile and you will find that it will pay. Happy day, happy day, sing a song and drive your troubles all away. There's not a care or a worry out on the long prairie. The boss is hanging out a rainbow and is waiting for you and me. And you will find that it will pay Happy day, happy day, happy day Sing a song and drive your troubles all away Give me a horse and saddle Give me a range to ride My gal is waiting over yonder And she'll soon be my blushing bride Happy day, happy day, happy day, happy day. Wear a smile and you will find that it will pay. You're happy day, happy day. Sing the song and drive your troubles all away. Happy. Purple Sage with Jimmy Wakely singing Happy Day. And of course, all the regular gang is on hand tonight, all fitting in a fiddle. Johnny Bond, Cliffy Stonehead, Al Sloy, Jimmy Dean, the Sunshine Girls, and the mighty sweet little miss you're going to hear from now. The sweetheart of ever last one of us old ugly boys and all the other folks who know her, Colleen Summers. And here she is to sing Flight Officer Gene Autry's great new song that's making such a big hit with Western music fans everywhere. Mail call today. Colleen, honey, you sing it up real pretty for the folks. That mail call today, dear, your last letter came. I just a fair smiling till they called my name. As I read it. Happened to you 
now it's all over. What more can I say? My poor heart was broken at mail call today. I hope you'll be happy with somebody new. But always remember, my heart beats for you. Good luck and God bless you. Well. could all do a lot of boys and girls in the service a lot of good by adding a little pleasure to their lives at mail call time. Hiya, cottonseed old pal, old pal, old pal. Hiya there, Johnny Bont. Say, you're looking none the worse after two hectic weeks in court. Oh, that was nothing, cottonseed. My wife, little bit, she finally forgave me for beating her up and everything's okie-dokie now. Oh, I always said that little bit was a fine woman, Johnny. Well, I guess she's all right to sometimes, cottonseed, but she's kind of funny, you know. Kind of funny? How do you mean? Well, she wouldn't let me insure her clothes for her. She's done gone and hired a guy to watch them. Hired a guy to watch them? I guess so. I found him in the clothes closet yesterday. <laughs> anyway, I've got to sing my song now and leave. I'm going down to Cliffy uh, Stonehead's uh, barber shop, and i got to get a shave and a haircut. You know, if that Stonehead's not holding court or working in a hardware store, he's running a dang barber shop. Well, go on and sing, John. Okay, the title of this song is Mother... You've worked for me all your life. Now go out and work for yourself a while. <laughs> I know a little idiot, as silly as can be. The guy who wrote it wanted it, so he handed it to me. Found I couldn't use it just because it sounded blue. And that's the very reason why I'm handing it to you. It's the song the alligators sing while coming through the rhyme. The serenade the elephants up in the tree so high. The ice man hums the city as he shovels in the coal. The monkeys join the chorus up around the northern pole. Now ain't we crazy? Ain't we crazy? But this is the way we pass the time away. Ain't we crazy? Ain't we crazy? We're going to sing the song all night today. For the benefit of the radio listeners, they're not laughing at me. They're laughing at this silly Clippy Stonehead doing the same about us. <laughs> it was midnight on the ocean, not a streetcar was in sight. I stepped into a drugstore to get myself a light. The man behind the counter was a woman old and gray Who used to peddle shoestrings on the road to Mandalay Good evening, sir, the woman said, and her eyes were dry with tears She stuck her head beneath her foot and stood that way for years Her children all were orphans, all except one tiny pot Who lived in a house across the street above a vacant lot Now ain't we crazy, ain't we crazy But this is the way we pass the time away Ain't we crazy, ain't we crazy we're going to sing the song all night today. Yes, sir. So long, Johnny Vaughn. We'll meet you in Cliffy's Barbershop in a few moments. Yes, that takes us back to those days of long, long ago. Another pleasant few moments with your brushwood poet, Cottonseed Clark. I reckon that at one time or other, every one of you folks has experienced that gosh awful ordeal of having to wash your feet before going to bed so as not to soil your mother's bed sheets. Well, now let's listen to the story in rhyme as Cottonseed recites Washing Your Feet Before Going to Bed. Now, I ain't such a hand at explaining things. Cause my school days was very few. I was brought up most by the Bible, and I was taught to be honest and true. Now, Ma taught me the meaning of friendship and the things that's really worthwhile, and she said to speak kind to everyone and to all as wear a smile. 
I learned what it was to work hard and struggle to forge ahead. But June or September, I could never remember to wash my feet before going to bed. Well, I could get up at four and kindle the fires and milk the cows with a song. I could go without grub till the horses was fed and chop cotton all day long. I could bug the taters and wear a smile and laugh as I plowed new ground. Pick okra till I sting in like far. Strip sorghum and never once frown. I could stay awake on Sunday night and hear what the preacher said. But I'd rather saw logs or slop the hogs and wash my feet before going to bed. Why, well, many's the night I jumped into bed and finally warmed the sheet and then heard Paul boom from the other room. My son, did you wash your feet? Well, I know dang well when I slid out of bed that it meant a trip to the well because the bucket was sure to be dry as a bone. Just why, I never could tell. Well, I admit it weren't Paul's fault for the fix I was in. I know he always said, there's one thing don't forget, son, and this is it. Wash your feet before going to bed. Oh, in this land of beauty, the home of the brave and the free, someone may hear my story who will sympathize with me. Someone who knows the tortures that nightly fell to my lot. Someone who suffered the same as me, and like me, ain't forgot. Surely there must be someone among you who works for his daily bread that's followed that track to the well and back to wash his feet before going to bed. Thank you very much, friends and neighbors. Well, we have a lot of old Texas folks visiting here in our barn tonight, and just as sure as little green apples grow on trees, they ask to hear Texas blues. And for all of you folks who happen to be in Hollywood or vicinity and would like to visit our new barn along with these Texas folks and many others from all over the country, we'll be glad to mail you tickets. Just as close a self-addressed stamped envelope for return mailing. And out of Fort Willing and the writers' purple stage and the biggest record since 1944, and it's still going... Those Texas blues, all the bullboard men in at that thing. Oh, those Texas blues, blues down to my shoe. Gonna catch that Santa Fe, and they'll soon be on the way. Oh, those Texas blues, blues are ever real. That's my destiny. Wake up, Fort Worth, San Antonio. The riders of the Purple say Al Sloyd, Jimmy Dean, and Foy Willing. And now all of you folks at home pull the rugs back and join in with us because the fun is a fixin' to commence. Ted French and his exhibition square dancers have the floor. Tex Lightning has his fiddle and Johnny Bond has a set of calls. So everybody join in, clap your hands, let's get ready and dance. So when that thing out. <laughs> First, couple out, bounce and green go to the right. <laughs> Don't sell that bale of hay over there, lady. That's if it don't hit. First, go forward and get to the door. Don't be so dead. You know you ain't safe. Yes, there's fun 
galore for everybody here at the Hollywood Barn Dance Post, and the festivities will continue after a 30-second pause for station identification. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. It's your Hollywood Barn Dance, friends and neighbors, carrying on with a regular Saturday night get-together in America's greatest this half hour of Western fun and music. Here once more comes your master of the proceedings, Cotton Seat Clark. All right, again, thank you, Jay. All right, Johnny Bond, swing them right on out to the barn. Well, if you don't get out of the way, cotton seed old pal, we'll do it. Go, do his move, do it. Promenade all, promenade of mine. Mm -hmm. Woo-hoo! Thank you, Jay. Much obliged to you, Ted Flash, and to all of you folks who join in the dancing here every Saturday night. Well, folks, three mighty busy little girls in Hollywood these days are Colleen, Vivian, and June, the Sunshine Girls. When these three young ladies have time off from tours of camps and hospitals, you'll find them making records or busy on a movie lot. But as sure as Saturday night rolls around, you'll find them here on our Hollywood Barn Dance ready to offer you folks some mighty fine singing. And right now, their offering is your request, and we know you'll like their unique way of singing in Maya Adobe Hacienda, the Sunshine Girls. Colleen, Vivian, and June. Thank you, children, for a mighty fine bit of singing. Well, I reckon the folks who run monogram pictures figured Jimmy Wakeley was going to break a leg or something the way he's been making pictures here late. For this week, he finished the fourth in the current Wakeley series, and leading theaters all over the country are showing them as fast as they're made. The reason for this is obvious, of course, and here comes the reason right now. Western Pictures' newest singing cowboy star, Jimmy Wakeley. Come out of here, son. All right, Jimmy, it's good to see you again tonight. So what about our offering in the way of a song? Well, Cottonseed, I'd like to sing I'll Never Let You Go, Little Darling. Well, okay, we're all of it. <laughs> You say we've reached the hour of parting You say our dream of love is gone But I could never live without you So please don't leave me all alone I'll never let you go, little darling I'm sorry that I made you cry I'll never let you go cause I love you So please don't try to say goodbye The stars would tumble down beside me 
The moon would hang its head and cry My arms would never hold another If you should ever say goodbye I'll never let you go, little darling I'm sorry that I made you cry I'll never let you go, little darling So please don't try to say goodbye That was Jimmy Wakely singing, I'll Never Let You Go, Little Darling. And now we take you to the corner of 4th and Oak Streets, where we find Cottonseed Clark waiting for that long, lean, lanky, lazy Lulu from Lizard Ridge, Johnny Bond. <laughs> now that Johnny Bond was never on time. Here I'm in front of Cliffy Stonehead's barbershop, where he said to meet him. Oh, here he comes now. Hi! Cottonseed, old pal, old pal, old, uh, goober puss. Hiya there, Johnny. Say, what's the idea of having me to meet you down here on the street? Just wanted to talk to you, old pal, old pal, that's all. Uh, hey, let's go in this barber shop here. I've got to get a shave and a haircut, and you can have your toupee trim while you're waiting. I left it at home, but I'll go in with you anyway. Okay, pal, let's go in. Ah, good evening, gents. What can I do for you today? Give me the whole works, pal. I've got a heavy date, and I want to smell good. <laughs> How much is a haircut? Haircut, hmm? For you, it'll be one dollar. You got about six months' growth there. Uh, say, how much for me? I haven't got as much as him. For you, it'll be two dollars. Two dollars? For what? For having to search for the hair. <laughs> I think I'll read a magazine. Now, never mind him. Where do I sit? Right in this chair. Shingle? No, I'm married. <laughs> you better quit drinking that bay rum. I'll have a shave also. Say, haven't I shaved you before? No, I got these scars in Albuquerque. <laughs> you see, I was being shaved by a lady barber and a mouse went across the floor. It was about uh, two years ago and I... Ouch! Hey! Hey! What, what's the matter? Isn't my razor taking hold? Taking hold, all right. It ain't letting go. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to be more careful. Will you have something on your face? Well, if you don't mind, you might leave my nose. <laughs> Who's this coming here? That's Rasmataz Dean, the shine boy. Shine your shoes, boss. No, thank you. <laughs> shine him up good. Uh, what'd you say? I said, shine him up good. No, thanks. But shine him up so you see your face in him. I don't want to see my face. Don't go, coward. <laughs> Maybe the other gentleman over there would like a shine, Rasmataz. You mean this man? He's already got a shine. That's the top of his head. <laughs> hey, Barber, what are you doing? I'm using my new razor on you. I bet you didn't even know you were being shaved. No, I thought I was being sandpaper. <laughs> Say, how come your little dog down there keeps looking up and watching us? Oh, he does that all the time. Sometimes I snip off a bit of a customer's ear. Oh! <laughs> yeah, should have snipped that one out of the script. Uh, hey, oh, oh, oh. What happened then? Oh, dear, I do believe I cut you. Hmm. <laughs> Here's a mirror. Take a good look at yourself. A what? Take a look. Okay, let me see that. Hmm. Oh, well, my nose was too long anyway. <laughs> Say, give me a glass of water, will you? Why? I want to see if my neck leaks. <laughs> well... I think that you'll get well in a few weeks. Would uh, would you like for me to go over your face again? Yeah, but this time don't go under the skin like you did last time. <laughs> Say, Johnny, how about getting out of here? I gotta be leaving. Yeah, I gotta be going too, Barber. Here's the money for your shave, and here's a dollar tip for you. Gee, thanks. Hey, wait, Johnny, did you give that guy a dollar tip? Yeah. Oh, but look, he cut you four or five times and put pieces of paper over the cuts, and then you give him a dollar tip? Cotton seed, old pal. Any time a man can be a barber, a butcher, and a paper hanger all at the same time, he deserves a dollar. Let's get going. So long for you, Johnny Bond. We'll be looking to see you next week. Well, folks, 
No greater contribution has ever been made to Western music than Bob Nolan's Tumbling Tumbleweeds. And certainly no greater writer of such music has ever been known than this Stephen Foster of the West. Long after Bob Nolan's span of life, Tumbling Tumbleweeds will remain a living monument to his genius. Four Willing and his writers of the Purple Sage with the Sunshine Girls bring you a sincere and authentic rendition of this fine story of the West. them tumbling down, pledging their love to the ground, lonely but free I'll be found, drifting along with the tumbling tumbleweed, cares of the past are behind. Along with the tumbling tumbleweed, I know when night has gone that a new world's born at dawn. I'll keep rolling along deep in my heart is a song. like to stay around a while longer, but it's way past bedtime and tomorrow is church day. Just don't forget that all the born dance boys and girls will be on hand again next Saturday night to bring you the kind of fun and music you won't regret on Sunday morning. See you all in church. Until then, this is Cotton C. Clark speaking for all of the born dance boys and girls, saying so long, good luck, good night, and may the good Lord bless you. Your Hollywood Barn Dance with Cotton Seed Clark and Gang will come to you every Saturday night at the same time from their new barn just off Gower Gulch in Hollywood. Jimmy Wakeley's newest picture for monogram is Saddle Serenade. Jay Stewart speaking with the CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. KMX Los Angeles, the voice of Hollywood. System. KMX Los Angeles, the voice of Hollywood. That will do it for today. 
If you uh, have a comment, email me, box13 at greatdetectives.net. I welcome your story or that of loved ones who served during World War II. Ken Curlin provides our opening theme music, kencurlin.com. I am your host, Adam Graham. This uh, series is provided as a service of the Great Detectives of Old Time Radio, greatdetectives.net.